How's it going guys? Today we have this 2009 Chevrolet Corvette 1LT in cyber gray metallic. We're gonna do a 360 walk around of this car. <clears throat> we'll jump inside, show you the interior. We'll fire it up and go over all the cool stuff with it. Definitely a badass Corvette. It's got a Pro Charger. I believe it's a D1 SC. Pretty standard kit. But after our walk around, we'll go straight to the engine bay and then show you all the goodies under the hood. First, we're gonna start off with the front section. I'm gonna to try to go over each panel of the car so you can see it as if you were here. <clears throat> and uh, not a whole lot of imperfections, but if there's any, I'm gonna to try to point them out the best I can. So we'll start off with the hood. I can zoom in a little bit too. Not a ton of rock chips on the front end, which is pretty nice to see. <clears throat> and we'll get down the bumper. You can see the intercooler right in there. This car came out of Texas, so it did have a front plate on it at one time. Okay. <clears throat> the badge, still the original badge, but it's starting to get the delamination or fading underneath it and the plastic pretty common on these cars and then the headlights are starting to show the oxidation and the hazy it's pretty typical when these cars get a little bit older they see some sunlight show you the fenders wheels these are aftermarket wheels it's got some michelin tires on it i think these are sport cups three s's maybe they look like three s's see the thing it's a little dirt there's a little dust on the car so then ignore some of it if you see it There are some water spots from when it got detailed that will come out. This car does have the NPP mufflers and they sound freaking awesome. Then the badge back here is starting to do the fade. And the wheels are like a bat black chrome. I don't see any curb rashing on them. Maybe right here a little bit, but it's not bad. Yeah, there's really not a lot of exterior 
damage. So it's always good to see. All right. So let's pop the hood. Show you the engine on it. Oh, camera's freaking out. There we go. <clears throat> so, Heart of the Beast, LS3, 6.2 liter. The big guy is that Pro Charger over here. So, there's our nice little Pro Charger. It is a. Uh, P1 SC, P1 SC, and it's got the standard pulley on it. So it's really a, like a bolt-on kit. Makes about 500 horsepower. So plenty of power without still uh, not overdoing the engine. And it's intercooled, so you got the nice intercooler right in front of the radiator. Trying to figure out this camera. It's kind of being annoying. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, minus the Pro Charger, it also has Dynatech long tube headers. So it's got a very nice sound to it. And uh, we'll be starting it here in a second, but we'll go over the interior real quick. So the interior is in really great shape. We did have to replace the radio. The radio, it's got a newer factory radio in it. Uh, the original radio was actually causing a parasitic draw. So if the car sat for too long, the battery would die. So we figured out that the radio is the issue, so we replace it. The downfall is you're going to need to go to Chevy so they can unlock it because right now it's in security mode. So, let's see if I can show you. So it's locked at the moment. And then the air display. The check engine light is not on. I'm gonna start it right now. And uh, give it a couple revs. So, put the camera down. Get set up. The car's already warmed up. Okay. Move it up a little bit. There you go. So, we're going to start this thing up. Hopefully, it doesn't sound distorted. Sounds freaking awesome. You got your blower up here. should go around the interior it's uh it's in pretty great shape as you can see the steering wheel looks good we'll pop the trunk
Yeah, every time you shut the door, it'll beep at you. So that's pretty much gonna go over this Corvette. Um, this car I spent its whole life in Texas and I bought it out of Dallas. So it is originally a Texas car and I believe it has three owners on the Carfax. No accidents reported, no damage reported. And the car checked out good. Doesn't need anything. Minus the radio code need to be unlocked by the Chevy dealer. But other than that, this thing is solid, good to go. It's got fresh oil. Brakes are good, tires are good. If you wanna make sure this, this Corvette is still available, go to azautohunters.com. And if you have Instagram, always be sure to follow us at azautohunters so you can see everything cool gets posted on there. If you watched the entire video, I appreciate you taking the time. Other than that, that is a wrap.